What's up guys? How you guys doing today? I'm sorry that the vlog is going up one minute late, but it's usually better than normal. And yes, my voice my voice sounds a little cracky. It's because I just woke up. I took a decent two hour nap. And that is something I need. So today remember yesterday I told you guys to <clears throat> remember I told you guys to um to send me a bunch of questions so today's vlog can be Q and A's so a lot of people asked me a bunch of questions and by a lot of people I mean about 30 of you guys literally because I've counted how many people actually send me Q and A's but you guys send me multiple questions so a lot of them are here in here I keep every single every single thing and this binder here so let me get into it and then after this I'm going to I'm going to discuss to you guys about having a fake friend a fake friend versus a real friend and again if I had a real camera I would like play it out I would be more better but no nah. and also I'm also going to describe a this uh, uh, issue with you guys right now I mean I know some of you guys have been viewing my stuff, but I haven't been getting views, views, and that's really hurting, like, just hurting my entire YouTube channel. I won't let it hurt me, but I know it's hurting my YouTube channel, so I'm going to start going more out there and posting more, so, yeah. So yeah, when if you're new, please subscribe. Please check me out. Uh, help me out here because I'm doing awful, it's awful. So let's get into let's get into this. And yes, it's long. It's like no, oh, no, no, no. No, I cannot say the names of these people because they don't want me to, obviously. But only, I will say a couple. And I'm sorry that I did say your name because I just don't want to make it seem like I'm lying. Even though I've told you guys millions of times I'm a liar. So, yeah. Alright, first question. I got was... Where do you see yourself in 30 years and why? Well, in 30 years, I see myself at least a successful YouTuber or a, a successful actress. I gave up singing a long time. I'm sorry, Carrie. But yeah, I gave up singing a long time ago because it wasn't working out and I don't have a good voice for it. And yes, I would like it if she can teach voice vocals again I forgot to put her description her description below a lot I did manage to put down the walking dead so go check that out they put out some new merch some old merch some new merch they got rid of some merch I don't know but yeah and I've also I see myself as that it's because I've been working on it a lot and I never let that dream go to waste because I know I could probably do it so that's why I see myself in there in 30 years. Are you most out of your partner? Are you most likely to kill him or her slash her? Or is he slash she there, there to kill you? Well, I'm sorry that I sound like I can't read. I usually do sound like that. I just woke up, so, I don't know. But, yeah. Yeah. She is. Because, and I sometimes, I'm I don't know, why the fuck did I just say she? Why the fuck did I say she? I mean, he is. Because, I mean, he's always leaving. I mean, I, I had to do it, but it's like, he's the one who cleans up the most, and yeah, 
He's like a, he's OCD. Nothing can be out of place. Nothing can be dirty. You can leave a, a one crumb that's the size of a germ and he'll find it and he'll clean it up. So, yeah. And again, on Saturday, I'm going to try to do a vlog at 11 o'clock like I used to do instead of at 3 o'clock. I do one at 11 o'clock and my boyfriend will be home and we can do it together. And then we'll be doing the, um, who's most likely and then we'll be doing the lick my body challenge which is kind of weird to him so yeah alright where would you be living in 20 years and would you be moving from that place too uh, no I would be living still in Beverly Hills. I'm just fucking with you. I live in LA, downtown area. But still, I would be living there, but it wouldn't be the same part of LA. It would be Beverly Hills. Most, yeah, Santa, San, Santa Monica, yeah, I'd be living there. And the reason I say that is because with everything that's going on in the recent place that I live, I don't, I don't feel comfortable just sitting there and, you know, it's boring. It really is. I mean, yeah, if you got a lot of money, you go everywhere. But that I, now that I got classes and stuff, I don't really want to go anywhere. I want to just sit down and watch TV, basically. So, anyways, yeah. I will be moving to Santa Monica, and because I got a lot of friends out there, I got a lot of YouTubers that are out there, and I also got somebody who I've mentioned before, is out there, and I want to see her, she's, she's been amazing, so I want to go see her, <laughs> it's been a while since we actually seen each other, so yeah, I'll go see her, okay. Have you or have you not ever been convicted of a crime? And if you have, explain. And this is for from Mary Falcons. So, shout out to you, Mary. Um, no, I've not been convicted of a crime ever because I've not, I've yet to do something serious. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> I yet I'm yet to do something serious anyways. I mean if I have been convicted of something bad by a cop, it would be missing school and it would be um stealing shit from the library. Brary. Brary, Brary, whatever. So yeah. And don't ask me why I've done that. Because or I might since I'm so close to YouTube now and I'm used to it, I'll tell you guys. Um the hell is that? Oh, that's a pimple. Pimple. Yeah, pimple. I'm getting pimples, guys. And I'm getting saggy boobies, guys. Your big ass booby. I need a new bra. That shit looks bad. And, um, okay. Yeah, back on topic. Um, here's the back story on that. Back then, I was a giant. The first time I've got in trouble by this I was a giant and I mean the, the biggest Star Wars fan on the planet I would collect anything that has Star Wars on it and even I would tear a book up that has pictures of people that are from Star Wars and as you can see behind me I will post them on my wall and to me that looks like I'm a whore back there but I keep my stuff clean and if I think it's too much I'll take it down but it's more like art I'll show you guys it's more of art than it is anything so yeah and that thing that you see behind me that is just like a cardboard stand up it's not a poster but it's a cardboard stand up with posters 
So yeah, I'm a big fan of hanging up posters. Thumbs that up. And um, yeah. I just tore a lot of, I stole about like a couple. I stole a hundred and something books from them of Star Wars. Um, I'm not too happy about doing that at all. But I did it. Yep, and somebody came out and told me about that. Confronted me by somebody I mean the cop. And furthermore, I got banned for a year <laughs> from every library in the city of this city, Toledo. But good thing I live in LA because that wouldn't have happened. I would have definitely got arrested. So, um, and I was about like 14, 13 or 14. Yeah. 13 or 14. Okay, and I'll also tell you guys a mail story about me stealing mail. And it wasn't really stealing, I was just swapping mail. But I'll get into that in tomorrow's vlog. So if you want to see what happened to me yesterday, which I know some of you guys, most of you guys really don't, um, check in tomorrow for you guys to actually do. Um,. For the second time, I stole a bunch of movies, and obviously, I wasn't really careful when I stole a a uh, New Moon uh, Twilight version movie. I mean, not a version, but it was Twilight. Um, yeah, I stole that, and two cops came up to me, so I got banned for a year again. It's sad. It's really sad. But oh well. Yeah. Okay. If you ever had. Wait. Seven. Oh. Okay. Okay. I don't know if I should ask you guys this. Or tell you guys. But I'll do it anyway. Since you guys already have already told you guys about it. And I'm still telling you guys about it. And showing you guys. And I also. This is like a, a Victoria's Secret kind of thing. But it has little support. Very little. Little support. So. I gotta get a new one. So. If you had smaller boobs. What would you name them? I never really thought of that. I really have not thought of that. But, uh, um, let's see. Mary Jane. I don't know why. It's just random names. Okay. This one's for Coop, from Cooper Barnes. Hey, you got the same na name as, uh, the um dude that plays off of um of Henry Danger, the one who plays Captain Man. And I only know that it's because my um sister and stuff watched that and I've watched it so many times with her and I'm getting bored. So Cooper Barnes asked Have you eat ever eaten snow? And have you eaten dirty snow? Yes, I've eaten snow. I've eaten a lot of snow and um I've eaten some dirty snow by accident. It was on purpose. It was because I seen it there and there was kind of dirt on it, but there was also white parts there. So when I picked it up, put it in my mouth, it tastes like dirt. That's a good and as you guys can see, I'm never doing that again, but excuse my dirty window, but it is, it has snowed. We've gotten about like three inches, but that's it. 
three inches. But yeah, what I have, what I have, and I'm never gonna do it again because the fan, my fans of uh, if I have any fans out there of um, a thousand ways to die. There's a lot of toxins and poisons, and I really am cautious now that I watch that show. And my boyfriend doesn't like the fact that I do watch that show because of how freaked out I get if I breathe in uh, a chemical or something like that. I get freaked out, so yeah. I'm doing that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now for you guys' other questions. I have more energy real quick here. Okay, for now, now let me get into true fans versus non-true friends. All right, and I might not, I might have to make an outro, so be aware of that because it's already been 16 minutes. So, all right. Okay, I'll probably only do four: two of good friends and two of uh, bad friends. And tomorrow, I'll just like do one, um, one big one. So. Okay, a true friend is defined someone who can, a true friend can be defined as someone who is by your side no matter what. Now, if you have a true friend and say somebody, somebody were to call you a name, that true friend will stick up for you. That true friend will defend you. Even if it can get them hurt, they will defend you. That's a true friend. A not true friend will laugh at it and will probably make a joke alongside of what they said. <laughs> okay? Now, a, 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 a true friend, a true friend will, a true friend will, will carry stuff for you when when you're um when you're hurt so yeah and a not true friend would just walk by so yeah that's also just a good friend but it's also true for them I mean you want your friends to help you out with stuff so yeah and it's okay for your the, I'm talking to my males out there it's okay to um be friend zone too um, a lot of times being, and that could be another vlog, I'm gonna do that in another vlog. But, yeah, being a, being in a friend zone is okay too. Because that is just better than being on the sideline and just nothing to the person, or maybe even an enemy to the person. So, yeah, try to stay in a friend zone as long as you can. It's awesome. You guys could at least have kind of something in common before you jump into like the best friend zone and then the true friend zone or however you guys do it and then a relationship. When you guys get to a relationship then you guys will know you know more about each other, more about things that you know ticky tacky whatever. That. And don't ask me why I do all kinds of gestures and you know. It's a way of me to keep talking to you guys without stopping. So, yeah. And, um, I will be posting a lot of my videos personally. I probably can't do it on YouTube, I mean Facebook, because, um, of the catfish thing. I'm going to have to keep that going. And I don't want to lose it, so. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, I mean, Twitter, Instagram, um, my friend's Facebook. Uh, I'll make a Vine account. And I'll post that on Vine. I don't know if I can, but I'll try. Twitter. And I'm still learning how to put things on Snapchat. So, yeah. Check out all of them. I'll put them in the description. Oh, I wish I could cut that stuff. Oh! I will put it in the description as soon as I can. And I think that's going to wrap up the vlog. If you did enjoy, for the people that watch, make sure to smash that thumbs up. I really appreciate it.
giveaways are still available. Don't forget to turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. And I will see you later.